Welcome back to Naughty Pie and Life, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone's doing well out there, wherever you may be. So in this video here, I'm flying the Ruko F11 Pro foldable drone. And I'm actually flying above the Chippewa flowage. Spectacular view. It's uh, October 8th right now. Thursday, October 8th, 2020. Fall colors are in full effect. And for a little history on the Chippewa Fludge, This was in 1921, the Federal Power Commission granted a license to the Wisconsin and Minnesota Power and Light Company for a dam construction on the Chippewa River. The dam was completed in 1923 and provided hydroelectric power and flood control to the area, creating a 15,300 acre reservoir with 233 miles of shoreline. Known as the Chippewa Fludge, this watery area with about 200 islands has become one of Wisconsin's largest inland lakes. Homeland to the Lacoudere Band of the Chippewa Indians, the band never approved of the creation of the Chippewa Fludge and subsequently lost their post village burial grounds of their ancestors and many wild rice beds which they used to feed their families in order to create this new lake. The power company relocated the people to a new village which they named New Post which still stands today on the LCO reservation. New Post is the shores of the lake. Today this area of spectacular natural scenery attracts not only many nature lovers but thousands of anglers to the abundant fishing waters. It is as I said a beautiful lake with not such a beautiful history behind it. I'm trying to slow this down here. I'm kind of spinning in circles. Bring it down a little bit. It's actually sunset right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the islands that are referred to. Over 200 islands on the Chippewa Fludge. This lake is obviously located in Wisconsin. Got some people fishing here. Pontoon here.
And there's a pontoon. Another fisherman coming up behind them. Getting ready to do some nighttime fishing. waving to us. Absolutely beautiful lake. Tremendous lake for muskies. Very common to pull 50 inch muskies out. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's really a special lake. It's just a very, it's a sad and tragic story and history behind it. Uh, but as far as um, how beautiful and how, how many people appreciate and enjoy and take advantage of it, uh, it's unparalleled. If you're ever in northwestern Wisconsin I highly recommend stopping We're actually over here. Uh, this is a restaurant that's, that's owned by the Lacoudre Ojibwe people. Uh, it's called The Landing. Get you in a little closer here. Here's the landing. And gives you a better view of it.
We got some fishermen up here. I'm gonna bring you down the road. Got a fisherman coming up on our left here. Doing some evening fishing on the Chippewa Fludge. It would be really cool as if I could fly it through this dam right here. That would be something. <laughs> I don't think I want to risk doing that. It's getting dark out. I think we're going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The Chippewa Fledge, it's really just... As I said, it's just an absolutely beautiful one-of-a-kind lake there's that dam I was or not a dam but bridge rather I'm probably hovering six feet above the water you can hear a car come in so there you have it folks I wish you could see how beautiful the sunset looked. The camera is really not doing it justice right now. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I think we'll wrap it up. Uh, head on back here. If you like this video, please drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know that you enjoyed it. Uh, consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Naughty Pine Life family today. And as always, stay smiling, stay safe, and stay tuned.